Well, good morning. I'm out here at Holt Lake. I call it Lake Butner. A beautiful lake that you can't even see this morning. Check out all that fog. Visibility is about maybe 100 yards at most. But the water temperature is 52 degrees. This is the middle of February. I'm in central North Carolina. And we've had a little warm spill for the past couple of days with some rain. The lake water is a little bit DNG, but not too bad. And uh, I'm hoping that this afternoon, if the sun comes out, it'll warm this surface up enough that maybe some bass will get moving. Meanwhile, I'm gonna troll around for some crappies. I'll let you know if we do any good. Wish you were here with me. Oops. Get on back up here. Well, just caught my first crappie on a little uh, road runner. He's pretty good size. He's over a pound. I'm down here in 14.2 feet. Fog seems to have been lifted. And I'm right at the mouth of a huge creek. It's probably a hundred yards or more across the mouth of this thing. Just before it goes out to the main lake, it looks like there's a long point. In the summertime, that point has grass. I see dead reeds on it. So the plan is just troll around here. Check in later. Well, I just caught a, a pretty nice bluegill. I was in 25 feet of water. And what I'm trying to do is figure out where these fish are situated on this long skinny point that comes out. I'm going to just keep working this till I, I either get discouraged or figure it all out. I'm surprised that bluegill was in such deep water. And he hit my shallow running lure too. I had a little jig with a sixteenth of an ounce head on it that I doubt was going any deeper than six feet. So this is my first time fishing the winter up here. And I'm kind of enjoying it so far. Check in later if we catch another one. Oh, I'm right on the tip of this point, and we got a little brim this time. Yeah, man. Keep this up, I have to put the camera on my hat. Yeah, that's three fish within about 50 yards up here. So, I think we got, we're on to something here. All right, I got something on here. He's pulling pretty good. Might be a brim. Now it's a big old crappy. Look at that. Holding the rod between my legs. Oh yeah. That's a slab. All right. That tells me I'm in the right area. I just gotta tune it in. I'm gonna put the camera on my hat where I can fish with two hands. And we're gonna get us some fish for dinner. Trolling along here. Marking a lot of fish in 13 feet of water. And this feels like another crappie right here. Yes it is. Water's so cold, they ain't fighting very hard. Well, he ain't very big. Yes, sir. I can't tell you how much fun I'm having. This is my favorite thing to do. I got half a box full. I've only been out here about an hour and a half. Just now getting them tuned in. Ready for round three. I 
I ain't even got turned around good and had another bite. This one don't feel like much either yet. <laughs> Maybe crappy. I'll get straightened up here before I get my mother line tangled up the motor. Hey, look at that stripe down his forehead. Grow up. Yes, sir. This is just the perfect solution to the winter doldrums. Especially when I'm getting action every couple of minutes. I do this all day. All day long. Okay. Well, I put a buoy out, and every time I get close to that buoy, I catch a fish. This is another bluegill. Ain't got much color to them this time of year, the middle of February. But they sure are fun to catch. He hit a road runner. I'm trolling real slow, so I guess that was probably around eight to 10 feet deep. So, I'm in 17 feet of water here, but about two rod lengths that way, about 25 feet so I think that old creek runs right up through there I'm gonna get it dialed in here pretty quick well trying to get going again right up that same line and dang if I didn't have two bites at the same time I think this one's still on here. That's a crappy. That's what I like, my favorite. That is just so weird right there with that stripe up their heads. I have seen some fish that had black noses at Lake Raleigh down by the State campus. Yeah. Well, let me see if this guy's on here. Now, this one got off. That, just like the textbook says, a good place to find fish is on edges of creek beds. And that buoy out there, about 50 yards out sits right on the north side of this creek so <coughs> excuse me so that's the plan for right now i'm just going to go up and down the edge of this creek until something better comes along really enjoying this what do we got here try and wind him up without stopping the boat because I've been having so much action here their rod gets all tangled up. Oh, I heard him. He's back there somewhere. That's a crappy. He's water skiing. Look at that. Oh, he's a good one too. And I tell you, this is just so wonderful. I'm about to get some shallow water. I need to get back out in the creek. This is an area I fish in the summertime. And I'm just supposing that these fish are using the same route to come in to spawn in the spring. In the springtime, I go up that little feeder creek over yonder and Catch them right up in the bushes, about six feet of water. Okay. Let me, 
I'm in 8.8 .8 feet right now. I just came out of 14. Let me try and get, I think I'm at the end of the bay here. Get out here a little ways. This road runner runs about eight to 10 feet deep, especially when I'm going up against the wind and sink down a little farther. And there is a lot of snot grass, mossy type slimy grass. If you're less than 12 feet deep right here. All right, I think I'm far enough out I can turn her back up. Should be coming back into my my water here soon. All right, I see her starting to fall. Just a little bit. Okay, we're cooking today. We're cooking the gas. And more of the same every time I get around that buoy. Oh, what's going on? Darn boats in reverse. I'm gonna turn it off. That looks like a little bass. It is. I tell you, they got some big bass in this lake, though. This is a baby. I was at a guy's house a few years ago. He doesn't live too far from here. And I bet he had seven or eight fish on his wall that were pushing 10 pounds that he caught here. I didn't even know this lake was here. It's hard to find. Or it was back then. Now all you have to do is Google it. All right. I'll tell you, this is... I hate to say the catching fish is getting boring, but I think I got this figured out right here. Trolling back and forth along this edge. That buoy tells me where to make my bend and I've got more than enough fish right now I think it's time to go exploring we'll see how that works out well I think I'm about ready to wrap it up I've been out here probably four hours and probably caught 30 or 40 fish. I've caught just as many bass today as I have crappies. I mean, I can't get away from these bass. If someone comes out here bass fishing and they can't catch one today, it's because they ain't throwing a crappie jig. <laughs> I swear. It's just as deep as 25 feet and as shallow as 6 inches. Everywhere I've fished today, I've, I've caught a bass. I'm back here in this uh, this creek now, right across that creek where that big brush pile is. That's that's my secret honey hole for crappies in the summertime. But I think it's just a little too early for them to be back this far. 55 degrees. If it stayed like this another week, though, I believe they'd move in. Okay, well, I'll turn the hat on if I, I get into something.